welcome to Talks on Web. Today, I'm going to talk about a change I've noticed on Google Fonts. So I've selected a font, and notice I'm no longer given these plus options. Before, we were able to just select, let's say, this version of the font and this version by clicking a plus button, but now they've been taken out. The interface has changed. And for those of you having trouble remembering exactly what it looked like, here's a clip of that. The plus button is clicked, plus button is clicked. Then you get to a point where you can copy the link right into your HTML code, and then you'd be done with it. Now, let's jump back to the present moment, where when you scroll down, you're no longer given those options. So what happened? Let's go through it. Now, I'm going to say for this one, let's click on this. That's the only option I've been given. Now, next, I'll click on this. Now, what you'll notice is that on the left-hand side, it's showing me that there's options 100 through 700. But when I click on this, watch what happens. I'm only able to select one value. Well, that doesn't make sense. I want a lot more than one. So the short answer for those of you that are in a hurry is to select this, the full axis, which will be selected by default. Get to the right-hand side, click on copy code. It will give, take this, put this in your HTML, and you're fine. This is exactly the same as before where you picked out the options that you wanted. This will give you exactly what you need. Now, for those of you that are wondering, well, why was the interface changed and why am I no longer able to click on the different numbers that I wanted, the different styles that I wanted? Well, that's what this video is about. I'm going to go through it right now. Uh, let me remove this. Let's go back here and let's take this out. And now when you scroll down, you'll notice again that it has the same options, but no plus sign. Let's go through it one more time. And now on the left hand side, I see a change. It says change styles. Let's click on that. And now you see options where you can say, uh, I don't want this one, this one, this one. And by the way, if you look on the right hand side, every time I make a change here, you'll notice that it makes a change here. So if I take this away, now this was updated. So why exactly what is going on in the background? Every time we select this, we're actually selecting files. Let me show you. So here's a font family that I downloaded. And what happens is every time you say, well, give me the bold, the bold italic, I kind of like the italic, this one and this one. So you made your selections. Every time you were clicking that checkbox, what you were really doing was selecting files. And when you selected those files, what happens is they all have a file size. And that's why if, even if you spoke to a designer, if you had a manager that would point this out, try not to select so much. Only select what you need to get your development done reason was because there was a file size attached to it. It would be really heavy for someone to download all of this onto their personal computer when they visited your website. And as you all know, if the website takes too long to load, the person is going to walk away. You're going to lose your site visitors. They might even talk to you about it, which is not going to be a fun conversation. So now that you know what's going on in the background, every time you hit a checkbox, here's the problem with it. Let's go back here. You selected all these files. Now, what if it came to a point where you needed all these files? Look at how much file size, how much the user is going to have to download on their personal computer. That's a lot. So having said that, companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Adobe got together and said, we need to solve this problem, and this is, this is really limiting. And fairly enough, since this is 2024, so... What they did was they came out with a solution to this problem, and it was called variable fonts. Now, variable fonts, what they are is they take all of this, and they use a different technology, and they combine all this into one file, which is able to give you all this different variations or different styles of font in one file. Now, I'm going to say it again. This is one font family, Roboto. And instead of having, having you to pick out exactly which versions of that font you want, they will give you all of this into one file. So you're not downloading all of these again. So this technology is really helpful. And that's why in the earlier font that I had picked, I'm going to go back and get that. Let's say it was, I think, Jose. And I'm going to say get font. I'm going to say embed code. Look, here's Jose Fins. Again, this is why this font did not give me those options as the older fonts did. Now let's note something. Next to Jose Sans Fin, Jose Fin Sans, there's this label that says variable. This is a variable font. 
again, this was a solution that Google, Microsoft, Apple, Adobe came up with. And that is that all these things are in one file. So that's just one file you're downloading. Now you look at the older fonts. These are called static fonts. This is the label next to this font. Every time you made a selection, this was actually, like I mentioned earlier, selecting files. Now these files sometimes get really heavy depending on how many options they have. They might have more options that you're seeing on my screen now. So that's the solution those guys came up with. And that's why sometimes you'll see a label next to fonts saying variable fonts. And that's what they offer. Now, some of you might think there's only italic and, you know, the weight version of a font. But no, there's more. Like, watch this right here. There's a website called playtypedetail.com. Link to this in the description. But for now, if you look at it, here's me increasing the weight. And now, since we have variable fonts, the one file will do all of that. You don't need to include specific font families. Next, you have the width. You can increase. Now, watch this. Let me bring the width down. And now, all these things are happening. So, now, if I go to Axis per Axis. So, with this one, you'll notice that there's different ways you can control a font. Now, let's go with this one. This one, look at how shredded it gets and look at stripes now watch if you cl watch closely over here you'll see the stripes are fading out now they're coming back this warm terminal there's many things you could do with variable fonts there's many more options you could give to it and because you can do that now designers can be more creative in their work what does that mean that means that fonts are really designed if you ever look at a font family like look at this one look at this font look at this font this is something you might expect on a bag of chips. That's the type of design you're looking at. This is part of the text is part of the design. It's really a design. And here's one thing I noticed. This one was kind of cool. Watch this. It's like the horse is running, isn't it? It might even look like he's throwing up gang signs right here. <laughs> but he's not. He's really not. So that's the difference between variable fonts and static fonts that we've looked at here. Lastly, I'm going to point out one thing, which is font family. If you go to Google's website, they go into it a bit more detail. But the simple explanation is, imagine you have a Chinese family. So this is one font. So imagine you have a Chinese family. And in that family, the son is going to look like the father. He's going to look like the father and the mother. And he might be a thin version of the father. He might be a lighter, like, you know, a less heavy version of him. He might be a medium version of him or the mother and that's what that is you picked one font fam one font but there's different versions of them just like a family a chinese family or a korean family italian family they're different versions of the same font so having said that i hope you enjoyed the video and it probably answered all your questions so if it did please like and subscribe